Bio Booster Armor Giver Viz Media or Giver Chuang Yi Publishing Japanese Changji Zhuang Jia Geba Hepburn Kyoshoku Soko Geba is a manga series written and illustrated by Yoshiki Takaya. The Giver itself is a symbiotic techno-organic or biomechanical device that enhances the capabilities of its host. The manga was originally serialized in Tokuma Shoten's monthly Shonen Captain, the first appearance being in the February 18 magazine beginning in 1985. When Shonen Captain was discontinued in 1997, the manga was picked up by Kadokawa Shoten who subsequently re-released all of the previous Tankabon originally published by Tokuma. The manga is currently serialized in Kadokawa's Young Ace magazine. It has been licensed by Viz Media, Star Comics and Chuang Yi Publishing. Giver has been adapted into a single OVA titled Giver, Out of Control, 1986, based loosely on the first volume, a 12-episode anime OVA series, 1989 to 1992, based on the first four volumes, two live-action movies, 1991's The Giver and 1994's Giver 2, Dark Hero, as well as a 26-episode anime series, 2005 to 2006, based on the first 10 volumes. Topic. Plot A test-type zoonoid escapes from the Kronos Corporation with three Giver units. Kronos soldiers attempt to recover the units from the test-type, but are thwarted when the test-type detonates a bomb that he has concealed in his bag. The Giver units are scattered in the blast. One of the lost Giver units, known as Unit I, Lands near two young high school students, Sho Fukumachi and Tetsuro Sagawa. The second one is retrieved by Kronos and merges with Oswald A. Lisker to become the second Giver later on. The final unit falls into the hands of Ajito Makashima, who merges with it at an unspecified time. Sho accidentally activates the unit which then painfully merges with him. Over time, Sho learns more about the Giver and its abilities. The Giver is virtually invulnerable, with its only weak point being the control metal. With this part intact, it can rebuild the host from their data it stores within, but if this part is critically damaged, however, the host will be eaten alive by the unit and perish. This is disconcerting and Sho starts to question whether he will ever be free from the Giver. The situation gets worse with the fact that Kronos is continuously sending more and more powerful zoonoids to retrieve the Giver. This makes it increasingly difficult for Sho to protect his vulnerable friends. As the story progresses it also takes a startling turn, in which Kronos succeeds in taking over the world and reshaping it according to its ideals. The Givers are then labeled to the public as a vanguard of alien invaders. Topic. Characters Sho Fukumachi, Giver I, Shen Ting Jing Fukumachi Sho The main protagonist of the series, Sho is 17 years old and a second-year student at Narasawa High School. He has black hair and a slim build. He fights Kronos to protect his friends and family than from any need to see the enemy brought to justice. Had he not become host for a Giver unit, he would have happily continued in ignorance of Kronos. He cares deeply for Mizuki Sagawa with the intensity of first love and Tetsuro Sagawa, Mizuki's older brother, is his closest friend. As he is the host for the first unit activated, he is known as Giver I. Tetsuro Sagawa, Lai Chuan J. Lang Sagawa Tetsuro. A large-framed, chubby third-year student, Tetsuro is Sho's closest friend. He is highly intelligent and can think rapidly when he has to. He is a rabid science fiction fan and the leader of the sci-fi society in the school, which gives him the background knowledge to make numerous accurate guesses about the Giver armor, Zoonoids and Kronos. He wears his hair short and has glasses, Mizuki Sagawa, Lai Chuan Ruiji Sagawa Mizuki. Mizuki is a typical schoolgirl. At the beginning of the story, she has a crush on Ajito Makashima, but later begins to appreciate Sho more. 
She is somewhat short even for a Japanese girl, very slender and wears her hair in a page boy cut that emphasizes her large eyes. Ajito Makashima, Giver 3, Wandao e Ren Makashima Ajito. Ajito is of medium build and muscular, he is a third year student at the same high school the others attend, but looks older. Portrayed as an anti hero, he almost never allows sentiment to stand in his way. He appears shrewd and calculating. At one point a candidate member of the Kronos elite, he is now viewed by them as a traitor. Even though he may have activated his unit before Oswald A. Lisker, the second Giver, he did not openly appear in his Giver armor until after Lisker was eliminated and thus he was dubbed Giver 3. Ajito shows a frightening knowledge of what the Giver can do throughout the series. After the Kronos conquest, Ajito leads a resistance organization known as Zeus no Ikazuki, or Zeus Thunderbolts, as he plans to overthrow Kronos and steal their power, as the god Zeus did to his father, Kronos, Shizu Onuma, Griselda, Wei Zhao Ji Jin Onuma Shizu. Shizu Onuma and her family have been serving the Makashima family for many years, tending to their properties and caring for Ajito in his youth. Although she is by nature kind and gentle, she can be extremely dangerous when she is acting in his interests since her devotion to him is total and overriding any other consideration. She gave her body to the ambition of Ajito and leads the processed liberators of the Zeus Thunderbolts organization, having been transformed into the Proto-Zolord Griselda. She capable of protecting the Liberatus from the psychic control of Kronos overlords, although her lifespan has been greatly diminished by the transformation. Fumio Fukumachi, Shen Ting Shi Shang Fukumachi Fumio. Fumio is a widower and shows father, but almost nothing else is known about him. He is captured and used by Kronos as a guinea pig and turned into a Giver killer zoonoid to entrap Sho. He ends up being killed by Giver I in battle, Aptum, Aputomu Aputomu. He is a battle creature that hunts down other zoonoids created by Kronos, except lost numbers. By absorbing small amounts of DNA from other zoonoids, he can replicate their forms and powers, as well as mix the attributes of several zoonoids in one body. He can regenerate himself even if only small pieces of him are left. Since discovering this ability, he begins killing zoonoids to take their powers and bio-matter in order to become the most powerful battle creature and becomes a renegade from Kronos. In time, he comes to ally himself with the Givers in various battles. Aptum was one of the Lost Number Commandos along with his two compatriots, Somlam and Dime, who were killed in battle with Giver I. This leads Aptum to carry a vendetta against Sho. Over time, Aptum questions his own motives and considers Kronos' part in his suffering. He was originally developed as a zoonoid with the ability to morph into different types of zoonoids and possess the power of the types he morphs into, but the project failed and he became a lost number. Dr. Barkas was interested in Aptum's abilities and carried out further experiments on him. This freed Aptum from the mental control of the Zolords and gave him the ability to rapidly evolve. Aptum also has other unexpected abilities, including the ability to regenerate himself even from the smallest remaining piece of his tissue and the ability to clone himself, each clone having its own consciousness. Throughout the story, he has gone through several different chosen forms after absorbing multiple zoonoids. His human shape is of a muscular man with a distinctive scar that runs down the left side of his face from hairline to jaw. He often dresses in a leather jacket, jeans and sunglasses, Toshiaki Hayami, Bio Freezer, Su Shui Li Zhang Bio Furi Za Hayami Toshiaki, Bio Furiza. One of Dr. Odagiri's assistants, and the one who manipulated security footage at the Relics Point base to cover Ajito Makashima sneaking Sho Fukumachi and Mizuki Sagawa in. He is later the sole survivor of that group of scientists that escaped in the Relic, along with the Sagawa siblings and Ajito Makashima's aides, after the destruction of the Relics Point base. The scientists were infected by a deadly virus as Kronos' means of keeping them under control. The only way to escape death is to be supplied with regular shots or to become zoonoids. 
The only way to become a zoonoid and yet not be slaves to the zoolords is to become a lost number. Since supplies of the medicine were running out, they resorted to attempt to becoming lost numbers. Hayami was the only scientist that survived the process, becoming bio-freezer. He possesses the unique power to affect the temperature of the environment around him to a certain extent. Aptum finds him and, once he realizes what Hayami is, brings him to meet the Givers and their friends. Unfortunately, later on his mission with Sho to save Aptum from the three rogue Zolords, he sacrifices himself to save the latter, knowing that he was going to die anyway, due to flaws in the makeshift optimization process. Valkyria Forsberg Lisker, Giver 2 female. Vurukuria Fo Shubari Rasuka Valkyria is a former member of Kronos and the stepsister of the late Oswald A. Lisker. Her mother was Astrid Forsberg and her stepfather was U.S. Senator Robert P. Lisker. Their marriage was arranged by Kronos to unite the powerful American and Swedish Kronos families together. Robert was quite cold to Valkyria, but initially Oswald acted like a big brother to her. After her mother's death she came to resent the submissive role she had been dealt and proceeded to work her way up the ranks of Kronos to avoid being used as a pawn the way her mother was. Her goal to show up her brother was destroyed upon his death, shattering her. She stole the artificial control medallion that was being developed by Kronos to create their own pseudo Giver units and became Giver 2 female. She resisted any of Kronos' attempts to stop her and has teamed with the former Zolord Richard Guillot. She is plagued by bouts of fatigue and dizziness even in human form as a result of becoming a Giver, a Pollen, a Porwan, a Porwan. A mysterious figure that has begun collecting Zoocrystals from the deceased Zolords. He appears to wear a dark armor made from the same material as Giver's control metal. He has demonstrated mind control, an ability only seen used by Uranus or Zolord. He also mimicked Carolian self-division by manipulation of unfolded space. Dr. Barkas has speculated that Apollon could be a vanguard of the Uranus. He also appears to be on a tight schedule. He is likely based upon Apollyon. Even though the katakana is closer to Apollon, the kanji that is often used beside it is Abyss. Topic. Kronos Genzo Makashima, Wan Dao Zan Zhang Makashima Genzo Director of Kronos Japan Branch, he is in charge when the Japan Branch loses the Giver units. While initially one of the people in charge of developing new zoonoids, Genzo has, unknown to him, fallen behind in this category as well once Dr. Barkas begins designing hyperzoonoids, zoonoids of highly enhanced capabilities. His failures to retrieve the units as well as come up with any significantly new zoonoid designs results in Commander Rickhart Guillot relieving him of duty. Genzo is then used as a guinea pig for the new enzyme. Zoonoid prototype, a zoonoid specifically designed to destroy the Giver armor by dissolving it with its acid. After he retrieves Giver Eyes Control Metal in battle, he is ordered by Guyo to self-destruct when the dissolving Giver Eye attacks enzyme, Oswald A. Lisker, Giver 2, Azuarudo A. Risuka, Azuarudo A. Risuka, a Kronos agent, or as he describes himself to show, an inspector from Kronos HQ. Lisker was in Japan to supervise the transfer of the inactive Giver units to Kronos headquarters and was considerably annoyed to discover Makashima had managed to lose them. When one damaged unit was recovered, he insisted on taking a look at it and involuntarily became its host. As the second known activated unit, he was called Giver 2. A man vain of both looks and martial arts skills, he decided to take on the task of retrieving the unit Sho had bonded with. His control medal, which had been damaged when the unit was initially lost, malfunctioned under the stress of combat. Sho took advantage of his weakened state and struck the medal, causing further malfunction. The control medal burst out of his head and the organism that made up the armor began to consume Lisker's body. Sho then used his Mega Smasher to put him out of his misery. 
Lisker is tall, with curly blonde hair. Topic: Zolords. Archanfel, Arukanferu, Arukanferu, quite easily the most powerful being on Earth. Archanfel appears to be a young, fair-haired man with pointy ears and cat-slitted eyes. He is the founder, creator, and ruler of Kronos. He is an extremely powerful psychic and possesses amazing battle abilities. Archanfel was created by the creators to be the leader of all the zoanoids and the people on Earth. The zoocrystals that give zolords their powers were all cultivated using Archanfel's crystal as a base. Quoted from Book 14, page 16. And then, cleaving and cultivating one of Archanfel's zoocrystals, we created eleven others. Accepting one of them, I became a zolord. In the centuries since then, I have searched for the ten chosen people who would become Zolords as well. Although powerful, he has been increasingly dormant since prehistoric days. When the creators withdrew from Earth, they attempted to destroy it with a gigantic meteorite which was stopped by Archanfel at great cost to himself. Hamilkar Barkas, Hamarukaru Barukasu Hamarukaru Barukasu co-founder of Kronos and the second eldest member of the Council of Twelve. He is responsible for designing and creating the first hyperzoanoids and completing the final work on most of the Zolords. He is over 400 years old and is, in fact, the person who awoke Archanfel from his long slumber. He is widely believed to be the top scientist of Kronos and is said to have greater telepathic prowess than any other Zolord, save for Archanfel. His seniority among the others has resulted in many of the Zolords to look up at him with much respect and as such he is occasionally referred to as Old Bal. By those closest to him, Shin Rubio Amniculus, Shin Rubio Immunicarusa, Shin Rubio Immunicarusa, discovered by Barkas 370 years ago in Armenia. He is a close friend of Friedrich von Pergstahl and commands Cloud Gate after his death. He is considered to be the third in command of Kronos after Barkas. His brief appearance as a Zolord showcased his incredible capabilities by being able to target various missiles in long range and in all directions, then destroy them with precision. Friedrich von Pergstahl, Fyodorihai von Purukushuta Ru Fyodorihai von Purukushutaru, discovered by Barkas 215 years ago in Vienna. He generally seems to be more compassionate toward the civilian population than the other Zolords. He is one of the weakest in close-range battle, but his lightning-based power can be formidable. Laser weapons are ineffective against him, as he can absorb and redirect the attacks. Unintended for hand-to-hand -hand fighting, his physical defense is minimal. He was murdered by the rogue trio of Zolords after being severely weakened from his battle with Giver I Lugnag de Kramegnik, Raganaku du Kurumaguniku, Ruganaku du Kurumaguniku, one of three rogue Zolords out to overthrow Kronos and obtain a Giver unit, Cabral Khan, Kabura Ru Ha N Kabura Ru Han, a rogue Zolord. A diminutive old man who mostly levitates with his legs crossed, Cabral's immediate ability seems to be the power to petrify a zoonoid. It is unknown if this extends to other life forms. This ability seems to also entail the control of other bodies, up to thousands of them, which can then be merged to create a giant battle form. As Cabral exercises his abilities, he goes through various modes brain mode, draglord mode, and extirpate mode. The brain mode serves as the nerve center for the later stages, the final of which features a huge set of wings and an enormous ranged beam weapon capable of destruction on a city-wide scale. Kabler used his abilities to capture Aptum, luring Sho out to rescue him. Cabral controlled Aptum for a time with the use of an artificial brain implanted inside him. After Aptum was freed, he killed Cabral as revenge. Eduard Carolian, Edoadu Carurian, Eduardo Carurian, a gentle looking man with long curly hair. Eduard was not heavily featured in the manga and thus had little dialogue until chapter 164, where he was shown to be stationed on the Ark, Kronos habitable spaceship, guarding the three zoocrystals that formerly belonged to Pergistal, Waferdanos and Li Yan Sui. 
Eduard is subsequently confronted by the mysterious Apollyon, who was first seen secretly retrieving the Zoocrystal of Kablar Khan upon his death. Eduard transforms into his Zolord battle form and engages in conflict with Apollyon, who is seeking the three Zoocrystals on the Ark. His main special Zooform ability seems to be self-division by manipulation of unfolded space. Eduard is badly injured when Apollon mimics his ability and rips his Zoocrystal out of his forehead, taking it along with the other three crystals Eduard was protecting. This has left him badly withered. Habir ibn Hayyan, Ya Biru bun Haya in Jaburu bun Hayyan, another rogue, wears a turban and has a visible Zoocrystal. Although not officially confirmed, he is believed to be named after the famous Arabic alchemist, Habir ibn Hayyan, Waferdanos, Waferudanosu Waferudanosu, the second Zolord to be found by Barkas, he is the only Zolord confirmed not to have a human origin. He is a collective formed by a living forest. The name, Waferdanos, is the name of the island or kingdom that the creature lives on. Barkas believes him to be older than both Archanful and the human race as well. He was a previous bio-weapon prototype abandoned by the creators. Deceased as a result of the destruction of the Arizona headquarter with Yan Sui, Tuatha de Galenos, Tuaha de Garanosu, Tuaha de Garanosu, looks like a large man made of rock. He has so far only demonstrated an attack using his mouth's flaming breath to help destroy the creator's relic. Hardly ever speaks and little is known about him. Of all the Zolords he is the tallest as well as huskiest in appearance, Li Yansui, Li Shan Tui Riansui, a mysterious young Chinese man with jet black hair, whose Zolord form is a green battle creature with huge prisms on his forearms. Li Yansui uses the prisms to attack with a technique named Zhu Kong Zan. Wei Kong Zan that seems to involve dimensional wormholes. He marks a set of coordinates and links two points in space with a window. He uses these to instantly travel from point to point or slice through other objects. Deceased as a result of the destruction of the Arizona headquarters along with Waferdanos as they battled Giver III and his allies. He, along with Waferdanos, managed to protect Barkas up until their deaths and it was Li Yan Sui who managed to allow Barkas to escape the battle. His name has struck a lot of controversy due to an early mistranslation by an unofficial publication, Visual Data Files. It was mistranslated in the book as Rienzi, but has since been confirmed to be Li Yan Sui in the manga by the author himself, Rickhart Gyo, Riharuto Gyo, Riharuto Gyo, a tall, powerfully built man. Gyo would stand out in a crowd without his large blonde hair and abnormal eyes. He is an immensely commanding presence. Gyo has been bio-engineered into a Zolord and was given the ability to control gravity, making him more powerful than the others, second only to Archanful. His ultimate weapon is the artificial black hole, which, like its name implies, creates something like a black hole and will suck everything that surrounds it. Gyo discovered the secret of the Giver before the other ten Zolords Archanful knew this all along and foolishly pursued it in order to merge with it and take control of Kronos. This ambition was known to Murakami, who had made it his goal to destroy Gyo. Gyo's ambition caused him to hide the device called the Unit Remover, which he was about to use on Giver 3 when Archanful showed up and stripped him of his Zoocrystal. He has recently been shown to be alive and working with the rogue Zolords. He was reprocessed into a proto-Zolord, fulfilling the reversal between him and Murakami. It appears that he has successfully recruited Giver EF to their cause. It is likely that his name is derived from the geological formations known as Gaiots, as there are instances of these having strange gravity anomalies surrounding them. In the Viz translations, his name is translated as Reichman Yiro, Imakaram Mirabilis, Masaki Murakami, Amakaramu Mirabarisu Kun Sheng Jung Shu Amakaramu Mirabarisu, Murakami Masaki Masaki was a freelance journalist captured by Kronos and used as an experimental guinea pig in the Zolord development program. He is a prototype body for the Zolord form of Rickhart Gyo. He joins with Sho to fight Kronos. 
When combating the zoonoids in his human form, he uses a massive revolver called a zoonoid buster. After Gyo mortally wounds him, Archanful retrieves Masaki's body. Murakami is turned into an obedient, powerful Kronos general and a full Zolord, who assumes the name Imakaram Mirabilis to take the place of the fallen Gyo. When his obedience is questioned, Barkas explains that Imakaram Mirabilis has a unique relationship with Archanful. They are in constant telepathic link, as if he is a part of Archanful, which explains the nature of his sudden loyalty towards Archanful. He is now more powerful than Gyo was and has been given Gyo's Zoocrystal. Masaki is a tall, thin young man with shoulder-length hair. He normally wears sunglasses even at night. After Archanful gets his claws into him, the glasses conceal the fact he now has cat-pupiled eyes. Topic. Manga volumes The unit called G. Kronos Murakami's Secret Aptum's Menace The Twelve Lords Gyo's Counterattack The Menace of the Remover A New Beginning Giver Gigantic The Thirteenth Lord The Living Ark Archanful's Island Gigantic Dark Final Match The Return of the Giver Pergistal's Attack his name is Libertus. The Makaram's Awakening. To the Abyss. Evil Aptum. Revenge. The Dark Kingdom's Rebirth. The Real Face of Divinity. Aptum's Return. The Draglord's Attack. Reed of the Valkyria. Beginning of Calamity. Gigantomachia. The Unexpected Guests. On the Isle of Mysterious. Yoke of Fate Colossi of the Darkness Topic. Anime The Giver, Bio Booster Armor, a 1989-12 episode OVA series Giver, The Bio Boosted Armor, a 2005-26 episode anime series Topic. Giver, Out of Control Giver, Out of Control is a 1986 short horror original video animation based on the manga. It was released in the US and Canada in 1993 by LA Hero under the Dark Image Entertainment label. It has since been out of print in North America. The story follows high school students Sho Fukamachi and Mizuki Sagawa who accidentally discover one of three bio-booster armor units stolen from the Kronos Corporation. When Sho and Mizuki are attacked by a zoonoid, the unit comes into contact with Sho and bonds with him, transforming him into Giver I and promptly destroying the zoonoid assailant. Meanwhile, a female Kronos agent named Valkyria acquires a second unit and becomes Giver II. She then abducts Mizuki in order to challenge Sho for the Giver I unit. On Anime News Network, Justin Savakis called it an extremely dated piece of pulp that still somehow manages to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Anime 